I began looking at speech language pathology programs and those that had significant research components, Boston University of course stuck out to me for many reasons. Dr. Kieran's focus on bilingual aphasia also drew me to Boston University. I always wanted to work with patients, but I was also really interested in the research component. And that is what Michael is doing right now. It's essentially a project that attempts to predict rehabilitation outcomes in individuals with bilingual aphasia based off of computational modeling. I had connected with this professor at UT Austin, the well-known expert in developing neural network models. We wrote a grant to try to see if we could actually simulate patients who have a stroke aphasia. They did all the computational modeling and we did all the patient work. And it was very successful because we were able to show them how patients are going to improve when they walk in the door with very little information. Okay. So now we're going to practice with some of A typical interaction with a patient is done through video conference. Because most of our patients are not in the Boston area, that's the beauty, I think, of having computer-based rehabilitation. I would say every single research lab in our department is doing cutting-edge research. All of the students that work in research are able to do the kind of research that lands up either getting published in our major journals, they present at our national conferences, so they are doing research at a very high level. Boston University is a large research university. But the college is a relatively small college, so I think you get the benefits of the relationships that you have in a relatively small college, but the resources of a large university. It's not going to fall exactly in the way... Every student is assigned an academic advisor, so there is always someone that is their point person to go to for anything. One of the benefits in choosing Sargent is that the program does such a good job of balancing the necessary academic component of the field with the mandatory clinical requirements. Michael's getting two types of really, really important experiences. He's looking at the patient every day and charting the progress. He's learning to push the patient when the patient is struggling, but he's also learning to look at the data and say, what is the data telling us? I don't think he would get this sort of experience anywhere else in the country. So let's go to the next page. And Dr. Kieran is a, a maestro of forming connections throughout different research universities and throughout different disciplines. Everybody on the faculty here has collaborations with researchers at MIT or Harvard or other hospitals. These are really seamless collaborations that we take for granted, but they're only possible because of the fact that we're in Boston. Dr. Kieran is famous for saying, well, show me the data. She wants to make sure that she set us up with the necessary skills and the critical thinking. She's already had such an impact on me as a young researcher, and I know that she will continue to have a, a great impact on me throughout my career. We all view our students as our future colleagues, and I think that informs the way in which we interact with our students. Not only is Sargent at the cutting edge of the science, it's a leader in really excellent clinical care, great learning, and excellent top-notch science all in one place. Yeah.